there are calls yet again after this latest mass shooting for tighter gun laws in the United States, especially assault weapons like the one used in Orlando. The AR-15 is believed to be one of the most popular weapons in the U.S., with an estimated 3 million in circulation. CTV's Joanne Schnurri is working on this part of the story. Joanne, are those guns available in Canada? Well, they are, Graham, but their use is restricted in Canada, which means you need a special license to own one. That's not the case in Florida, where there isn't even a waiting period to buy one. AR-15, most people... Most Canadians probably wouldn't recognize an AR-15, but in the U.S., they are one of the most popular firearms in the hands of millions of Americans. Used to kill 50 and wound dozens more in Orlando Sunday, the same style of firearm used at the Sandy Hook Elementary School to slaughter 20 kids, and in Colorado to kill 12 people in a movie theater. And every time there are calls for tougher gun laws. The United States seems, unfortunately, to have a mass shooting almost every day of the year. This university professor says with gun laws controlled state by state, universal gun control is difficult. It's not a simple either or. It's not a straightforward political culture kind of thing. But quite clearly, the capacity to easily access Weapons of mass destruction lead to more mass destruction. Clearly, Canada isn't immune to mass shootings. We've had several here. But the statistics on gun use in the U.S. are astounding, where you're three and a half times more likely to be shot than you are here in Canada. In this country, the AR-15 is a restricted weapon. Counselor and former sniper Jody Middick owns one that he says can only be used on the firing range. He's against any further restriction in Canada, but says something needs to change in the U.S. Such a heinous crime that people are looking for, for a solution. This is just one of those situations that there really is no uh, obvious solutions. But for many folks on the streets of Ottawa, the solution is that simple. I don't think anybody should have access to guns, period. I think it's, I, I don't know, I think it's silly. 14, 15 year olds are gunning down scads of people. How can they get guns? They get them online, they get them at any store. You could almost buy them at any corner store. It's ridiculous. I think it's obvious. It's not, a, <laughs> not even a conversation, right? It's pretty obvious what needs to be done. Graham, I'm just standing outside the U.S. Embassy tonight, and you can see behind me the American flag is flying at half-mast alongside the rainbow flag. This is a country in mourning, and we're mourning along with them. Graham. CTV's Joanne Schnur, live outside the U.S. Embassy tonight. Thanks, Joanne.